Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublikon here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our lovely Sugar Bomb build. Yes, and I've missed Far Harbor. I mean, wow. It's beautiful. The way the fog moves, the ocean, I mean, oh, we're in a little bit of the fog right now, actually. Back, back off of there. I, I made this comment last episode, but when you actually walk into the clouds, the radiation picks up. But you can walk back out of the cloud, and the radiation will drop back down. It's a really cool effect to, like, kind of avoid if you wanted to. And there goes our yeah, Radex, speaking of the devil. Scrap. Hey, thanks, Maybe man. I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper Far Harbor woman out of you. <laughs> That's a little creepy. Now that I've actually heard him say that to our faces. See the fog into a number of them. Get you all turned around. There's something in your brain. Anyway, we're going to head on up to Acadia again. Hopefully, uh, this time we won't be killed by a VW bug. Or whatever that car was, particularly, that chose to just kill us randomly. Um, that was actually my first random physics kill from Fallout 4. I've seen people die from it. It's, uh, it's kind of a joke thing about it, actually. I mean, I've seen people make, like, the random, like, Oh my god, it's like the car will jump out of nowhere. Anyway, let's, uh, get that feral wolf that's about to show up. I think, um, I'm gonna save some of that spray and pray and see if I can aim this a little better. There we go. Oh, that was perfect. I just, oh, we didn't hit the one I wanted to, but it was pretty good. Oh, wait, that was the vicious wolf. Did we not kill the legendary? Hold on, what are we on right now? Found it. All right, well, its head is actually right in front of us, so... Critical to the face, bro. Just, uh... Oh, I love it when their head turns to ash, but their body doesn't. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> Duelist combat armor chest piece. I like how he's like, you like them puppies? And I was like, dude, I, like, destroyed a legendary Deathclaw on my way here. Calm down with your puppy talk. So I've been experimenting with a new editing thing, and I've chatted to you guys about it a bit, where basically I try to not hit my timer as much as possible, because my thought process was that it would... I just hit something. My thought process was that it would pick up how often that I talk. And I wanted to have a little bit of your opinions, because the last two episodes I did that like not hitting the timer. In fact, actually, arguably, four episodes total ago. All of that was all just kind of that quick conversation thing where it's like, ooh, legendary Meyer like Razor Claw. Where uh, there was this kind of conversation that was focused more on free thought and less about, oh, we've walked into something big to discuss. And uh, I like them both, I think. Uh, I think the big problem that I've been running into on couple cases was that I would sound like someone who just never shuts up rather than someone who has something to add and I worry about that and it's actually a little bit of advice to you guys who are doing your own YouTube stuff keep in mind that when you are playing and like editing and stuff re-watch your videos because if you are bored probably your fans are too and I mean, one thing that really sticks out to me, and really, oh wow, this guy's head is like a globe of empty. That is really weird. Uh oh, I hear one. Oh, we found him. That was the one. That was the one. Okay, I do not see the car that killed us. Aha, through the trees. Through the trees, back on our safety car. I know, like we were killed by one car and this is now our safety car. Hey bro, you, uh, you're looking, looking angry. Well, now you're just looking fire. What do you got for us? Martyr synths right leg. Ooh, that's actually really good. Right leg, too, huh? Are we currently just in our dress? Hold on, are we just in our dr No, okay. For some reason, I assumed that we were just in our dress, but I don't think I'm wearing one of the legs. Yeah, I uh, forgot to put this back on. Huh. So that's 813, and this is 811. So it's pretty much the same, but unless we're fighting super mutants, well, we do get AP from that. I think this might actually be more useful because it's a free thing of jet when we drop really low in health and that is great, great value. Alright, give that car a little bit more of a wide berth now. Oh, so these are called god beams apparently. I didn't know that's what they were called. That's, oh, how cool is that to see the shadow flicker through with the windmill up there. 
I guess that's a wind turbine, technically, not a wind mill, because it's not milling anything. But anyway, so watch your videos over, because sometimes you'll think you're shit, or you'll think you are the shit. Huh? Get what I'm going with that? And, uh, it's important to do that to find out what you actually are as a viewer. And I mean, I watch my videos not necessarily straight up on uh, YouTube right after I'm done. Sometimes I do it, like, on the computer after I've edited it. Because, you know, if I see something that pops out at me, I would prefer to be able to edit it quickly rather than go, Oh shit, I should have fixed that before kind of thing. So, but I was just thinking about that the other day, or not the other day, today, because today I have been editing a lot, a lot of videos. And I filmed a bunch using that technique I told you where I was just kind of avoid touching my, uh, my timer. And I found that I had, like, more conversation pieces and things, and I was impressed by that. However, when I edited them later, I was cutting out so much more stuff that I thought was just stupid. But then after I watched the edit again, I went, oh, wait a second, this is actually, they felt more natural. So it's an important reminder to everybody, because I chat with a bunch of you about ideas and Mind growth. Your step, friend. Whoa! A nest of snakes lies Jesus! Beasts who subvert the will of Adam. <sighs> Kate. Sorry, Atom, not Jesus. Not too late, sister. You still may have a chance to take your place among his chosen. You know, can I get that on my map real quick? All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you. Look around, you strong, Adam. Stride his kingdom. You. Uh, just sign me up. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you for telling me where the nucleus is. And if uh, Longfellow isn't here yet. Um, how can I kill you with one of these guns? Oh, actually, we're running out of ammunition on a lot of guns. All right, this will do just fine. Seems like nobody noticed. Dude, ooh, she had a short radium rifle. That's our first one of those. Awesome. All right, let's uh, just in case he's gonna come up this way. It looks like he's actually waiting for us again down there. Cut. You know, carrying bodies. Really fun. I, I feel like if it could make it a little faster. I get that it's supposed to be immersive, but uh, the person's already floating in midair where I have two hands touching a gun. I don't think immersion's the problem here. There we go. Just get her off the beaten path. And uh, wow, that's actually perfect. You know what? I like that. That seems like she actually fell and broke an ankle or something. Perfect. Let's get Longfellow. Longfellow, more than meets the eyes. Longfellow, he is average sized. See, this is an example of when I was talking about the fog, how if you get out of actually any fog, the radiation goes away. And so you can actually physically see where you are going to be if you're gonna get irradiated. Wow. I fought all the Myrlurks on my own because we left him down here to do that fog crawler talk. Huh, and he just stood in the fog the entire time. When I was a young lad, no higher than you and me. <laughs> There he goes. The whole island was covered in fog. You know, I'm really curious about how Radaway is going to feel on this island, because I don't recall there being a lot of diseases during this process. Hey, dude, let's keep going, man. I don't recall there being a lot of diseases, and so Radaway has been something we've had a lot of before. So I don't, like, and I'm not just not too worried about it, and as long as we find a place to sleep, we'll be more or less a-okay. God damn it! Dude, you don't like me leading at all, do you? At all. I'm just trying to avoid the fog. God. Come on, dude. Look, look, if you stay off the road, I don't care. If you stay off the road, you're good. Stay off the road. You'll get out of the fog, dude. Look, look at me. I'm just along the edge. Jesus Christ, man. Stop standing in it. Good thing you don't Oh, come on, dude. I'm just up the road. Jesus, this man. <laughs> this is what all this video is gonna be. It's just me, clips of me going, God damn it, Longfellow! And then just the next clip. God damn it, Longfellow! Seriously, look, I'm out of the fog, dude. Why? Oh, fine. Let's get in the stupid. <laughs> Gosh, guys, I get it. You vape. Man, that meme is a weird one. I, uh, I've always. Ah, oh, Longfellow. Come on, dude. I know you don't care. Good riddance. Let's keep moving. Stop. <sighs> <laughs> Longfellow, more than meets the eye. Longfellow, dumbass. Up Doesn't there, need a rhyme. He needs to clean. No fog. Is it? Katie's My Geiger counter seems now. to disagree. And also, I was in no fog when I was just out of the way. Ugh. 
Yeah, also, I, I chose not to rhyme to put emphasis on the dumbass part. Alright, dude, it appears that we're here. Could you go home and just, I don't know, <laughs> put your head into a fog bucket or something? That sounds weird, fog bucket. That sounds like really crass. And we've arrived. Yes, we have. Arcadia's already been Good watching. spell, they'll quick be talk, they'll be waiting for me. Can you use, okay, now we can have him as a companion, and now we have the opportunity to go to his cabin, which has water and a lot of stuff like that. Maybe later. Maybe later, Longfellow. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. Thank you. You ever want to hunt a... All right, so now we're in Acadia. We completed a walk in the park. We've leveled up. I don't think there's actually a bed up here. Oh my god, I was totally incorrect. There's absolutely a save out here. And four fragmentation grenades. I'm gonna loot. We just got the optional help Captain Avery. Oh man, we're gonna help them. Just in the worst ways possible. Ooh. We can... Picking pockets. Oh my goodness, we can steal equipped weapons. Wait. Equipped items. We can steal the hat off of that jerk's head now. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm talking about Alan, if that wasn't clear. Steal the hat off of Alan's head. Alright, so this is 35. We got another scrounger. I thought we took that. We must have died or something somewhere around there. Demolition's waiting for 34. Alright, I think, uh... You know, this or a... You know what? We're going to do Scrounger. I would love to pickpocket Alan's hat off his head, but I think it would make the most sense to do another Scrounger because that's just going to be useful now. Uh, now we've arrived to the Synth on the Mountain. So, the Synth on the Mountain has some pretty funny, uh, sarcastic comments. So I'm very excited to share those with you guys because I watched a couple of you them. Know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Oh man, I cannot wait for all this. This is one of my favorite characters ever, but damn. Ah, <sighs> good luck, sir. You have just looked hate and destruction in the eyes. And uh, she's gonna be sarcastic too. Well, in that case, I want a new Coca-Cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and, um, <laughs> mm, a pony? <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Woo. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kasumi is a synth? Let's see. Uh, we're gonna go, it doesn't matter. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. Oh, never mind. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born Philosophy. with these? Or were they manufactured? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before this you see This is different her. than when I play with Fizzy. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. You are Tell wrong. Me, are you a synth? Sarcasm. Mm, no. But if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me. What's the first thing you can remember? Man, I love this question because it's day of the bombs fell and it really brings into question about whether or not we are since because of we know us being manufactured. Now, if you know the end of the story, that seems really odd, but it is a wonderful philosophical question. Uh, we're going to just jump through this one real quick until there's sarcasm. Remember, if you guys are here for the story, Fizzy, Child of Adam Ghoul build, that's the one where we actually do this as a, like, you know, a player and not as an insane individual. Ooh, now we get to talk to her a bit. Actually, no, we're not. We're just gonna we're just gonna move to Kasumi then. 
So we have the option to help everyone, but instead I'm just going to take advantage of the doctor. Bit of our island. What do you think? Sarcasm. Quaint, but sort of an old world, burn it to the ground and salt the earth kind of charm. What? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> of course it was already burned to the ground once. I'm not sure attempting that again would yield much. Oh, you this never know until you try. With all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. Not me. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has, uh -huh. and it will continue to it. And then, passing the knowledge on to others, I skipped through it. But I'm telling you, because that's what floats your boat. It gives me a sense of purpose. <laughs> yes. God, it's I so like mean. I like having something worthwhile to which I can dedicate my time. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy. That's right, she's a sin. But I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. She is Dr. Zoidberg of this place. Of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. Need a doc. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? Not much to tell, so uh, don't answer. Not really any of your business, is it? Sure, sure. None of my business. Seems odd is all. This Kasumi girl shows up, convinced she's a synth, then not long after, here you are, looking around. That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, <laughs> where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Sargasm. You must be the life of the party around here. <laughs> hey, if we had parties, I damn well would be. But anyway, <laughs> lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. You're the best of salesmen. You need more practice, good sir. I'll take a look, sure. You never know. I might actually have something useful. <laughs> now, let's just do some simple selling of just whatever ammunition I've happened to pick up. Random useful sellable items. Here's our short radium rifle, which we're actually going to sell. Because that's not the one we're excited for. Get rid of the duelist thing. Stealth boy, and we have stim packs up the wazoo. So, we're going to have uh, 24 stim packs sold, and we're still going to be way over what I normally like to do. But now it, that kind of works out because we can buy some 45 ammo back from this individual. Probably just buy all of it. And then uh, that actually ends up being that we pay them 42. So, that worked out pretty well. Just everything we picked up immediately goes into selling for ammunition. Perfect. So this is the individual who doesn't actually sell that cool, like, double-shot cowboy repeating rifle, but that's A-OK. -okay. It's uh, that dude somewhere in here, and, um, ooh, I forgot about this. And uh, we don't really have to worry about it, because we're not that kind of gun anyway. I assume you're not planning uh, to stay long. This is the guy who really doesn't like us, and right now, sarcasm. Gosh, after a welcome this warm, who wouldn't want to just stay forever? <laughs> this place isn't for you. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. I'm always Best. smiling, don't worry if about it. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. You're right. It makes you an unnecessary risk. Oh, so it's right. Personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. Oh, man. You must have tons of friends with this attitude. I don't need friends. <laughs> hey there. You want to buy something or what? Yeah, let's do it. All right, he's packed to the broom with 45 rounds. There we go. Old, reliable. That was the one that I was looking for and talking about. All right, so this person's getting upset at me as I'm trying to build things, but we're just going to ignore them because we picked up some treated leather. Boop. That's pretty sick. Some cushioned, which is just, why not? We don't have enough for pocketed, but we're just gonna get to cushioned. We're taking our destroyer's chest piece, going from reinforced to polymer. Ooh, Hello. that's it's nice. Fine. Good I'm jump. And even, it weighs a little, uh, weighs a lot more. Two more pounds, but that's actually not too bad. Keeping pocketed, no reason to change that. Shit. I just realized that our other, other leg uh, had the studded leather, which is even better than what we were doing. So let's do that. And uh, we might as well go to lighter build too, because we're going to take advantage of the AP, since we're not really using a lot of fighting against the super mutants all the time, especially on Far Harbor. So that was a huge increase with stuff that we already happen to have with us. Wonderful. All right, so we just upped our character a little bit more, and I also spotted a much better bed available right behind Cog. Acadia may not look like much from the outside. There we go. Boop. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and talk to Kasumi and uh, everybody else. Ooh, apart from lack of water and tired from lack of sleep. 
You know what, we can do the sleep in a little bit, but I definitely want to get the parched thing out of the way. Remember, there are just water fountains everywhere that happen to be purified, so it makes a lot of sense to go up and uh, check everything to see if you can find bottles, because they have purified water available. And this is a place where you kind of need that sort of stuff. Go ahead and talk to Kasumi. What's up? I came looking for you. Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. <laughs> I'm a detective, and your parents sent me. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. I did. Well, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... Oh, I can't wait to find out back. for sure if she's a Sith or not. I've heard rumors, but I'm excited. Jack, and then we go it. into the part where That's she starts saying, Hey, told you that there's, there's a big a secret here. And she goes, there seems to be a big secret way bigger than just a little girl lost on an island. <laughs> Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just hold the jokes for a second. <laughs> can You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century so worth of life of an idea to me. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Great idea. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, oh, perfect. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Oh, man. Your focus about who you're scared about is so mislocated. Oh, my goodness. Uh, sarcasm. Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Surprisingly on point with our character. If I'm wrong, you can make all the jokes you want. <laughs> now, I've tried doing some digging on my own, but I haven't had much luck. <laughs> I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory. Oh, young lady. I'm gonna eavesdrop on the meeting. Eavesdropping on- Okay. So, uh, oh man, that is really, really funny how She's just like, oh man, like I'm really worried. You can make all the jokes you want. I'm like, oh young lady, oh you are in such, such a terribly misplaced trust right now. Right, anywho, so if you dudes are looking for that key that she's talking about, there's actually a way to get to it. You can also go straight to Dima and ask these questions to him and go, hey, what's your opinion on blankety blank blank? And if you have high enough charisma, apparently he starts answering those questions. But if you don't want to go through that process, you can come right on up here to the end of the hall and uh, nab the key. I accidentally found that in the fizzy playthrough and that was good enough for me. So we have now nabbed the key. We're a little bit hungry. I need to find like a stove around here. I'm sure they have it. Actually they have a carrot. I'll take the cooked soft shell meat. You that wanna buy something or what? DJ, calm down. Well. Quick drop save on the shitty mattress, but that's fine. Alrighty then, let's go awaitin' for the crew, shall we? Now unfortunately there's no sarcasm in here, and I don't- I'm trying to decide, should we watch this or not? Because this isn't really how our playthrough works, but uh, whatever. Ooh, that's right, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Ammunition and things you can just sell straight- ooh, purified waters, duct tape, ooh man, happy days. Teapot, not as happy. More purified water, rat aways, uh, rat poison. No, thank you. And bags of cement, which is very useful, but not for us at the moment. Not for the build list, only for the builders. Hide and wait, activate. Here they come to have a conversation. I think, like, I guess they would not be really on top of really quality um, security because they don't expect anybody to do this. But I have my light on, on my pit we boy. We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Just see it. Through the window. And the They're going to kill each other, Dima. Oh, There's don't no worry. Stopping it. I'll stop we that. Need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly. Oh, a I can fix act. that neutrality problem. <laughs> Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. I got this the covered. All right, I'm gonna position. skip. No skip. They have All right, well, you'll beliefs, get to skip. But they have. And as a reminder. Maniac. Child of Adam Ghoul, if you're here for the story, and uh, that's the one where that actually guys. happens. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? Me! We keep dancing around it. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm I done. I wonder if I Get could the program, steal that. Use it to break into the memory bank. That would be interesting. Hopefully Is it possible to do this to. without telling them? Let's see if we we'll can do that. Monitor. That would be such a fascinating thing. Is we don't have to talk 
to Dima to do this. Well, that sounds like the most crazy shit that we can imagine to do is to just Katie is far away steal it. Oh man, they, we could do it in a way that they won't even see coming. Because we know what's on that tape. We know that his memories about Avery is on that tape. We know that the launch code is on that tape. We know the fog condensers are on that tape. We can take everybody out without them even knowing it's happening. Without even knowing it's happening. Aww, damn. Important question though. Is it better for them to know that they trusted me and their trust failed? I kind of like that idea too. Is it better for them to know the trust failed? Let's talk to Kasumi before we talk to Dima because we didn't do that last time. We went straight to Dima. Hey, what's up? Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? They're really something in them that's dangerous? Oh, I can't do you wait. Have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get I do. I stole it. Adam, of course. My reward. I'm getting paid for all this, right? Don't worry. I have money. Not to mention the fact that you'll have whatever secrets are in Dima's earliest memories. Oh. He lived on the island for almost a century before building Acadia. He has to know about some treasure somewhere. Don't you oh. think? Yeah, he does. All right, let's do it. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Um. Sarcasm. All I find in those memories is just a hundred years worth of Dima staring at a wall. I'd be really annoyed. Well, <laughs> if you did, that's almost good, right? That means they're harmless. Anyway, good luck. Ooh, 500 caps. Man, you've got money. Your dad just stuck me, really messed with me with the, how much money he gave me. God. All right, important consideration popping up right now. There are some sarcastic jokes that you get to say you to Dima. Dima has a lot of opportunities for sarcasm. So uh, do we take the tape to him and go, hey, Dima, we, uh, we got the tape. We figured this shit out. Or do we just sneaky? I'm trying to decide what the most evil option is. Because there's also the opportunity for sarcasm, which is really fun. All right, I decided to have the sarcasm fun. I think that would be the best option for this based off of the idea that it's about having fun, right? We're here to have a good time. So if, uh, you know, maybe it would be more evil to not talk to him about it, which apparently we might not even have the opportunity. Dina? What can I do for you? Uh, your memories. Well, I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base, that you're worried the children of Adam will Boom. get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Yeah. I suppose you have. That'd be me. Maybe this but you. Sarcastic, because I'm new to the island. I'm picturing your memories as just one massive holotape that the children of Adam are using as a coffee table. I suppose that's your version of, yes, I'll help. Before <laughs> I begin, how much do you know? I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures. You'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in no order need, to dude, access my it. memories. Sarcasm. I'm going to replace all your memories with pictures of cats. Meow. Well, I suppose that would certainly make remembering some of my darker hours more fuzzy. In all seriousness, good luck. I understand the risks you're taking on our behalf. I almost feel bad for killing you now. It's in all our best interest almost. that you succeed. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Meh. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. Meh. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. Oh, right. I will ha find a divisive plan to solve that all right dude so there we have it we have set up far harbor we are going to the children of adam next turn next level whatever the next mission is whatever we're gonna do that and damn am i excited this is 
I mean, now that we're back in Far Harbor, and apparently I'm missing some of my shoulder right now, didn't notice that. Uh, now that we're heading back to Far Harbor, there's just such incredibleness that happens. I forgot how amazing the design was, and I mean, they really, really brought their A-game with this DLC, and I'm really hoping that uh, Nuka World will do it as well. So anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And of course, when the ground rises, meet your feet. Wind, always be at your back, and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later.